Hey guys, what's up? It's Serbs. Oh my goodness, it has been such a long time since I last posted a makeup tutorial, but I'm back and feeling inspired and excited to start filming some tutorials again. So for today's video, what I filmed was a super, super, super easy, achievable, realistic makeup look. Now in the past, I have done a similar video for beginners, but the feedback I received was I used too many brushes and they still thought it was hard. So I was like, okay, I really, really, I have tried to simplify it in today's video. I only used one tool. There are no brushes that were used in this tutorial to create this look at all. I just used a sponge and then um, because of that, I also only used all cream products. I feel like cream products will give you a really natural, soft look. They're also extremely easy to work with, especially for beginners. So I try to minimize the number of products I used as well. So I really hope that this is helpful for you. Um, I think this makeup is extremely appropriate for this time of year where it's spring and you just want kind of like a fresh, glowy, simple face. I'm gonna shut the hell up and we're gonna start this video. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be starting with my eyebrows. I'll be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. This is in the shade medium brown. It comes with obviously the pencil on one end and then this is supposed to be a spoolie but mine broke off. I feel like pencils are the easiest if you are a beginner to makeup and with a pencil I feel like you can get the softest, most natural, fluffy look. So obviously this one doesn't have a spoolie on it, so I'm going to start with just a random spoolie and I'm going to start by brushing my brow hairs up, just like so. This will give you the best idea of your natural shape. Now that my brow hairs are brushed up, I'm going to start to define the lower part of my brow. So basically I take the pencil and with a very light touch, I just start to follow the natural shape of my brow and make a very faint line following that shape. And then I like to extend it a little bit at the end. Hopefully you guys can see this. Maybe I'll zoom you in a little bit for this portion. So in terms of shaping, this is the only step I do for shaping. Once I have that faint line drawn, I'm going to start to create little hair strokes following the natural hair growth trajectory of my brows. So where my hairs kind of go upwards, I flick upwards. Where over here my hair grows in a downward motion, I create downward flicks. Here it goes up again, so I'm just following that. Just feathering the product really lightly through my brows and then every once in a while stopping and brushing it out again. That way you can see any areas that you've missed. And um, at the front of my brows, that's where I like to go the lightest because if you draw very harsh brush strokes at the front of your brows, you're going to get that really boxy unnatural look and you can see at the top of my brow here i'm not really creating any type of shape i find that if the top part is really carved out it starts to look really artificial and that's where again you get that really like harsh look that you want to avoid for this type of look And then just brushing it out again and that is it like I think that took me maybe a minute to do if I hadn't been talking it would probably be faster and that is it it's not the most perfect brow um, but it's gonna do for an everyday quick look now I'm gonna do the same thing on my other eye just define the bottom of my brow following the natural shape just like so extending it a slight bit like so with little strokes now my brows are um very different <laughs> they're completely mismatched 
This one's thicker towards the tail end. Um, it's a lot more rough. A lot of people tell me I need to tweeze this brow, but I'm just too scared to. But honestly, I don't care to make my brows perfectly symmetrical. I feel like when I try to do that and when I try to get the perfect brow where they're just completely the same, I tend to mess it up and then it becomes very obvious that they're different. Whereas if I just do this kind of like fluffy look, even if they are different, it doesn't look so odd. It almost feels like, oh, maybe that's how she meant them to be. <laughs> so that's really what I like about this look. And on an everyday basis, you don't want that pressure, especially if you have like a limited amount of time to get ready to have that pressure to create the perfect brow shape. So just follow whatever shape you have. Obviously, it helps a ton if you have already tweezed or um, threaded or waxed your eyebrows. But yeah, that is it, you guys. That's all I'm doing for brows. I know they don't look perfect. I will come back to them later and maybe just touch them up a little. But this is how I like them, just kind of fluffy and fun all right so now i'm gonna move on to my face so i'm just gonna zoom out a little bit okay so we're gonna start with our face now i obviously have a freshly washed face and i applied some moisturizer a little bit of oil you can use whatever works for you i usually when i do full glam i will go in with a primer but i know a lot of people don't own primers don't know how to use primers and honestly a lot of primers are just uh kind of like marketing gimmick and they don't really do much so as long as you have a clean face that is well moisturized and hydrated that's really all you need especially if you're just a beginner and so we're gonna skip the primer and we're just gonna go straight into foundation I find that stick foundations are really easy when you're a beginner as opposed to a liquid foundation it also gives you a lot more control and I in terms of determining how much you apply and how much coverage you get and in what areas you get the coverage. So for stick foundations, I love this one by Hourglass. This is a product I've talked about so many times on my channel before or on my Instagram page. This is, this is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. The shade I use is Golden Tan. So all you need to do for this is just swipe on the product like so. And you can determine how much you feel comfortable using. Obviously, the less you apply, the less coverage you'll get. And the more you apply, the more coverage you'll get. Always start off with less. That way you can build and see if you in what areas you need the coverage. Now, I usually use this foundation with a foundation brush. But again, I'm trying to keep this tutorial super, super simple. So I'm just going to use a sponge. And this is going to be the only tool I'm using for my face in this makeup tutorial at all. So with a sponge, you can use a beauty blender. I also really like this one by Real Techniques. And it has to be a little damp, so run it under some like warm water and then just like kind of like squeeze out the excess water and then you should get like a really nice bouncy damp sponge. And then what I'm gonna do is with that sponge, I'm gonna start to stipple this foundation into my skin like so. So I almost always use this foundation with a brush and it's so much easier with a brush but a sponge still works and a sponge is such a multi-purpose product even if you don't have any face brushes I will show you in this tutorial how you can just use a sponge to create the same look as with using like five different brushes okay so I have my first layer of foundation on. You can totally leave it at this. If you want to add more, you can just go in and apply the foundation in targeted areas. I'm kind of seeing around my mouth, I have a ton of stuff going on. So I'm going to just apply a little extra foundation here, a little on my forehead, just a little bit more in the center of my face. But it's completely up to you how much you want to apply. And do you guys see how easy this is? Anyone can do this, and it's actually really fun as well. <laughs> okay, so 
I'm pretty happy with that foundation. I'm also gonna drag a little bit down my neck. Make sure I'm going all the way into my hairline as well so there's not like a weird line there. Okay. So the foundation is now done and I'm going to move on to concealer. Sorry, my camera cut out there for a minute but now I have my foundation on and I'm going in with concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer today just because I'm trying to finish this tube. You can use any concealer of your choice and we're not going to do intense concealing today just in the areas where you feel like you need it so for me my main problem area is my under eye so that's where i'll apply the most amount of product i also have some discoloration around my lip so i'll apply some there i have some breakouts on my chin and my forehead i'll just highlight a tiny bit down the center of my nose and then if you have any other areas where maybe you have um breakouts or pigmentation you can go up ahead and apply the concealer there for me I have a few spots on this side of my face. I'm just gonna put a few light dabs, just like so. And again, we're gonna go in with that same exact sponge and blend this concealer out. So when you're blending with a sponge, you always want to lightly tap. You don't wanna swipe and pull just because A, that will get the product everywhere and we're trying to kind of target the product in certain areas. So that would defeat the point. But also, you don't want to be too rough on your skin because that will lead to kind of premature aging or aging or fine lines. So you just want to be super gentle with your application. I'm also taking a bit of that concealer and just swiping that across my lid because my lids are also kind of dark. I'm just tapping away. Obviously, tapping will take longer than swiping, but it is definitely the preferred method. So I don't know if the camera is capturing this, but you should instantly see my face kind of brighten up after wearing this concealer. And you want to choose a concealer that's two shades usually two shades lighter than your foundation all right so the concealer is now on you can see i look a little brighter maybe a little more awake and we have still only used one tool on our face so now we're going to go into bronzing contouring all of that jazz i know this is a step that intimidates a lot of people so i'm going to make it so 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 easy so I love using cream products. Uh, I feel like they are so easy to work with. They give you a really like fresh, glowy, healthy. Cream products also don't tend to look very cakey when applied. So for bronzer or for cream contour, I love using stick. I love using cream sticks. I if you just scroll through the tutorials on my page, you'll see so many of them. So many tutorials where I've used that type of product. Today I'm going to use this cream tantor product by huda beauty this is in the shade light by the way the shape tape i was using in the shade medium and again what i'm going to do is this is a cream product i'm going to go ahead and take my sponge and with the butt of the sponge i'm going to lightly just press and pick up a little bit of that product like so and then I'm gonna apply it on the periphery of my face to kind of d bring some definition and warmth into my skin. So I like to start off right where my hairline kind of meets my ear and I just like to dab a little bit there and then just follow my jawline in till about where my eye ends. So just dab the product up until about here, like so. And I'm doing super light motions. So obviously, we're going to blend that out. That looks harsh, but you can see that's already creating kind of like a shadow where my cheekbone should be, but I don't really have cheekbones because I have a really flat face. It's really sad. I'm doing the same on this side. You can see my face is already starting to look slimmer and more contoured. And then I like to kind of shorten my forehead this way. So I'm going to start to bring that product on the side of my forehead like so and then connect it back down to the contour on the cheekbones over here and I apply a tiny bit just along my hairline like so okay 
And now I'm gonna blend that out. Again, the same tool, we haven't even switched anything up. I'm gonna start to just stipple that into the skin and beat it into the skin. The thing with cream products is that although they give you a really beautiful natural look and they're really easy to work with and foolproof, they are not as long lasting as using powder products in my personal opinion, but that's okay with me because I usually don't wear makeup for extended periods of time and I, I don't really mind if my makeup slowly starts to fade throughout the day a little. Honestly, it starts to look a little more natural, so... I just wanted to give that little disclaimer. And also, if you have extremely oily skin, then honestly, just don't listen to anything in this tutorial because this will not work for you. This type of makeup look with cream products is gonna really look, work for people with dry to normal skin types in spring, winter type conditions or fall conditions. But in the summer, this can, there is a chance this could kind of melt off your face, so just keep that in mind. But for this time of year, I think this tutorial, this type of look is perfect. Okay, so hopefully my face is looking a little more sculpted. And I am now going to define my jawline with the same product and the same technique. Taking that Tantor product, pressing my blender into it like so, very lightly. And then I'm going to just dab it along my jawline and under my chin like so and then I'm gonna slowly blend it downwards like so I kind of start from um, under my ear and then go all the way around and I apply some on my double chin <laughs> This is going to create that, again, that kind of shadow effect. Okay. Now, you can completely just leave it like this and you'll be done with your contour bronze type of thing. I, I don't think it's necessary to use two products. Just use kind of a neutral tone like this that's not super cool or super warm and then it kind of does both at the same time. I also just want to bring a little more definition to my nose. You can completely skip this step, so don't feel obligated to do this. This is just something that I personally like doing, but you can totally skip this step. I'm just going to use the edge of the sponge and just draw slight lines along the sides of the bridge of my nose and then a little bit underneath. I'm going to use the tip and just kind of squeeze it and just tap that along my nose just to give me a little definition and a little bit of shape to my nose like so just the tiniest amount i'm also going to take that and apply it a little bit of the bronzer cream bronzer through my eyelid and just tap tap and blend it out this gives a little shape to your eyes as well it looks like you have a little bit of eyeshadow on until it although you really don't and yeah that is it for the bronzing our nose is bronzed and contour we have a little bit of color on our eyelids and our crease we have kind of definition to our whole face and now i'm going to move on to blush so i love cream blushes I'm for today's tutorial. I'll be using this one. This is the nudies nude sticks bloom This is in the shade tiger lily queen. It's a really nice bright Corally pinky peachy color um, you can apply it directly onto your face or you can um, Apply some onto your blender and then stipple it on for this particular product I just usually just apply it directly to my face So I just smile a little see where the fattest part of my cheek is which is right here and just apply a little like this I'm gonna look like a clown and you might be like, oh my god, like what are you doing? But trust me, this blends out so easy. And it also tends to kind of disappear throughout the day. So you kind of do have to apply a little more than you would think you would need if you want that peachiness and color to stay on your cheeks for the remainder of the day. So again, with that same beauty sponge, we're just patting it out and you can see 
already it's completely disappeared and melted into my skin now if you don't have a cream blush do you need to go out and purchase one no one thing you can do is if you have any like regular cream lipstick so any like let's say like a mac lipstick or anything that is satiny lipstick creamy lipstick that is pinky or peachy or corally whatever you can just literally just apply a little bit of the lipstick right onto your cheeks just like we did with the cream blush and then blend it out with the beauty blender and you get the same effect you don't need to necessarily go out and purchase a whole other product if you don't want to okay so since this is a more like spring look i am going to add a tad bit more because i really love this color and i love this vibe So, sorry, I should explain this a little better. So I started kind of where the fattest part of my cheek is, which is right here, like the apple of my cheeks. And then I kind of blend it backwards into the bronzer and then I kind of bring it up towards my temple, like so. Now with whatever tiny bit of blush is left over here, I'm just gonna apply that a little bit on my nose. Just pick up a tiny, tiny bit more and just apply it a little bit on my nose. It gives that really cute sun kiss type of look like so like almost like a sunburn type effect but you don't want it to be too strong okay so the blush is now done and we're gonna move on to highlighters so again i'm using a cream product i am going to be using the siate dewy sticks this is in the shade gleam this looks clear but it has a really pretty like um, gold sparkly glitter type situation so again this is really easy to apply you can apply it onto your blender and then stipple it onto your skin or you can just kind of draw directly on which is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna apply it right on the highest parts of my cheek coming um, down until the top of the apple of my cheeks over here and just bringing it down like so and then the same over here I'm gonna apply some down the bridge of my nose, like this, a little under my brows, above my brows, a little on my cupid's bow, and then my chin. Again, taking our beauty sponge and just starting to pat that product into the skin. Hopefully the camera is capturing how pretty this product is. I know the lighting is not great in here, but you can see, oh here, you can't see it. You see that really pretty glow? Really fresh, dewy looking skin that is not at all cakey. All right, so now for my face, I only have one product left. You can skip this step. If you have really dry skin, you can skip this next step. But for me, even though I have dry skin, if I don't use powder on my face, especially right under my eyes, my concealer does start to crease a little bit. So for me, powder is essential, but I'm not gonna apply it in a heavy amount. I'm gonna take, this is a Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. I'm gonna take the tiniest amount, like so, and I'm gonna apply it right under my eyes where I know no matter what I do, I will crease a little. So I'm just gonna press that lightly under my eyes. Right here. This is my problem area. I'm just gonna set that. And then I also tend to crease in right in my eyelid. So whatever is left, I'm applying that lightly over here. Pressing that into my skin, setting it down. Now if there's any other areas that you want to mattify on your skin, you can run the translucent powder over those areas. Sometimes I do see a little bit of creasing around my smile lines. So I'm gonna apply the tiniest amount of product just here. 
and around the sides of my nose. And that is really just all the powder I'm gonna apply. That's it. I, I just used my beauty sponge. I didn't need to go and get any brush. And our face is done. Now I'm just gonna apply some mascara. This one is the L'Oreal Telescopic. If you like volumizing mascaras, then you'll hate this. <laughs> this one is just kind of lengthening and it also separates your eyelashes. So I feel like a lot of people wouldn't really like this, but for my eyelashes, because they, um, I have so little, I don't like volumizing ones because it just looks really odd when there's just like um, volume of four lashes. <laughs> so I prefer just to have a mascara that kind of lengthens and defines. And unfortunately with my lash condition, I just know that that's the best I'm gonna get. So now the last step that is left is lips. For this look, it's so soft and natural. You could literally apply some lip balm and it wouldn't look odd. I actually have a little bit of lip balm left, so I could just leave this look like this. But um, I do want a little bit of color. I'm gonna be using this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Gloss. This is in the shade Darling. And I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of that on my lips. So with gloss, it's really easy because I feel like you don't need any lip liner and I don't feel like I need to be as precise as when I'm using a lipstick. So i blend that a little bit out with my fingers. I do want a little bit more shine, so I'm going to go in with this Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow, which is my actually my most favorite lip, um, lip gloss. And I just apply a little bit of that. In the center of my lip. Again, just slightly tap and blend. And yeah, that is it for this look. Now, since I was talking through this tutorial, obviously it took a little bit of time to explain all the steps, but if I was just doing this by myself, I can actually do this full face in about seven minutes um there have been times where i've needed to get ready in like seven minutes and do my whole face and i've been able to do that um that doesn't include the brows and the lips and all that but just for the base about seven minutes and you're good to go so let's just recap everything that we did today for this simple easy glowy look that is very beginner friendly so first brows we kept them simple and just flat. we used a brow pencil which is probably the easiest and most beginner friendly tool then for our skin we skipped primer we used all cream products we started with a cream foundation that's in a stick format so it's just really easy to kind of swipe on and blend out we used a bit of concealer but we only targeted it in the areas that we needed to we didn't put you know excessive amounts of concealer on for bronzer and blush again we used cream products um, and a sponge and then the highlighter was also a stick product so I don't know I feel like to be honest I can't make makeup easier than this I mean the only way I can think of making it even easier if you needed to is maybe skipping foundation um, you could skip foundation and just wear concealer but if you skip the foundation then I would suggest you use a concealer that is the shade of your foundation essentially or like one shade lighter i wouldn't go too light because then it becomes a little hard to blend and it looks a little odd and patchy so you could if you want to skip the foundation that would bring it that would make it even quicker if you wanted to make it even quicker than that i would either skip the bronzer or the blush i would keep one so either just do blush or just bronzer but um it's not necessarily 
critical that you do both but do one otherwise it's gonna your face is gonna look super flat and i feel like highlight you can't skip that especially for a glowy look you cannot skip that mascara is essential i know a lot of people like eyeliner so you could always like run a little bit of eyeliner through your waterline or um on your eyelid i'm personally not a huge fan of eyeliner and it takes time and I skipped that step. So anyways, I'm rambling now. I really hope that this tutorial was easy to follow. If you guys do try it out, let me know. You don't need to use exactly the products that I use here today. You don't have to use this foundation. You can use any stick foundation. You could use a liquid. Like I said, you don't have to go out and purchase a cream blush. You could just use some lipstick that you have and apply it onto your cheeks. And if you find the... um bronzer in this format a little tough then i would just go ahead and buy a stick bronzer and if you do buy a stick bronzer literally all you would do it would just swipe it in the same areas where we applied the huda beauty bronzer and then um pat it out with your beauty sponge and i'm gonna shut up now and i'm gonna go walk my dog i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will catch you in my next one if you have any suggestions for future videos leave me a comment down below Bye.